Hello everybody, I'm Alfred and the video we're about to watch and listen to is the trailer for the movie A Writer's Odyssey. So let's get the party started. Every night I dream about that strange city. Life is calling. The target is a writer. His book is titled God Slayer and the writer's name is Kong Wen. My boss is convinced that what happens in the story is somehow affecting his health. You only have three days. You don't want to let us down. Oh, hell, Lord Redmayne! What is this? Who is Redmayne? He's no mortal like you. Well, you're the one writing it, so you can decide what happens next. To the pit. You know, this is an interesting concept that has not been done before, but there are many things that um, you have to look at. This is, of course, you, you have to understand the concept of God games and perhaps not, you know, let me leave that. That will now be begin a lengthy explanation, but this puts the writer in a position of basically God, you know, creating their own universe and this imaginary universe and the story they are writing in this fantasy world is affecting the real world and interestingly the direction that he's writing in you know the a wealthy individual believes that it is affecting his health so he has now joined this writer on a journey that you know apparently it's a play a, on, on this on this issue because it's like even though the writer cannot explain it or understand the connection uh, or why, what created the connection he's in the position of kind of like god because what he's writing is is um changing and affecting reality it's kind of like i think it is death note you know and i think it, that is also an asian um production you know but that is an animation you know where if anyone's name is their full name is written in a book they are going to die you know so um as long as the person who had the book the person who got the book you know who got it from a spirit you know an evil spirit you know um as long as he wrote he got that person's correct name and wrote it in a book that person will die you know it's unfortunate but you know in any case that kind of storyline you know it reminds me of because this kind that kind of godlike power given to a human being there is a lot of interest in that kind of thing in in when it comes to asian entertainment and storytelling and you can see that with dragon ball z and all of that where there's the concentration of godlike powers within individuals or people who just have um, amazing um, supernatural go like powers but in, an, in a way that lends itself to action and fighting and all of that but let's keep watching Once Lord Redman plays you know that move that is Cynthia Rothrock's official you know that is her trademark move that kick where when you hold somebody you know they now kick from the front to the back you know is by doing a straight split you know that is Cynthia Rothrock's official move but from the angle the camera was the top view you can't see that it is so obviously since your road rocks you know official so you see that and interestingly it's a girl that is doing it you know it's a girl that is doing it that same that kick you know the red man that is playing to your life who are as good as dead and this also has a video game kind of feel you know kind of like fantasy video game world that you know um controlling the real world i wonder if this is going to also have a video game you know that will go along with it to really exploit the franchise Red Man! i've come to kill you Show yourself! You are going up against powers beyond your comprehension. You don't even stand a chance. The story's not done. I have to finish it. Hmm. 
<laughs> very interesting you know in any case one thing you have to know is that every story is better told from a christian perspective you know if this story was told from a christian perspective especially since it deals with demons ghosts the supernatural and a whole lot of things you know it would have actually touched things that you know uh more real and uh, more meaningful you know heaven and earth will pass away but god's word never pass away what really matters you know is you know that which is heavenly that which is of god you know that is actually what is going to remain so imagine in a movie like this you know using an opportunity to um using this as an opportunity to actually communicate the gospel something that people will take with them for all eternity you know that will be a blessing and actually help them to make it um, and get saved you know so um if you are out there you know you would like to be a part of what we plan to do with the entertainment industry you know reach out to us on alfred.vip if you like to be a part of you know perhaps you want to start your own studio your own entertainment studio video game studio m music studio and a movie studio whatever just start you know just take the first step when you do that you see you can take a second one and a third step you know those are the steps of it and you have to realize that um the movies that or the entertainment that you create has to be christian and it has to push the gospel you know and god is going to be with you and you are doing something that is of eternal value something that is very powerful so make sure you do that that being said if you've not given your life to christ go to alfred or vip click the salvation prayer link in the main menu when you do that page you come out that has a prayer of salvation say that prayer telling god that you want to become a christian so that's that thank you and god bless you